in children and young adults. Influence can have you doing things that you never thought you would do and never thought you could have done because the power of influence is oftentimes stronger than our own will. Seeing people do things that you deem fun or cool or that you want to be a part of can easily have you going into the wrong direction. Following people that are toxic, people that don't know what they're talking about, people that are living terrible lives, living lies, and just outright wrong. But you're influenced by them, by them because they have a huge following or they look good, they talk good, they act good. But deep down, that person is nothing but a puppet for this society that has been proven to take innocent minds and turn them into devils, turn them into evil people. People that used to be good hearted, turn them into evil people. That's the power that influence has. Influence can make you turn on people that was there for you. Influence can make you keep people around that have never done something for you. They say that a lot of influences come from best friends, but where do you meet your best friends? In school? The educational system? Where do your best friends get influenced? TV? Toxic parents? Toxic family? Where is all of this stuff coming from? A lot of people cling on to things that they are familiar with, things that they understand. So you wondering why you watching somebody stay in a terrible relationship and you know they could do better. But they stay in that relationship because that's all they know. They're scared that if they leave, they'll never be able to be familiar with that something again. Same thing with women staying with men that beat on them. They're scared of change. Because deep down, that familiarity provides a sense of security. People are left to stick with whatever position they are in because they're familiar with it. They know it. They think they understand it. But in reality, they don't. They don't understand the power that some of the things they keep their have on them. So a lot of people don't grow and they don't elevate and they don't get better because they're so familiar with their situations and they're hard to change. So I'm here to say stop letting just anything influence you. Whatever you are passionate about, whatever you like, whoever you watching on TV, YouTube, social media, study that person. See who they really are. It's hard to see who people really are on social media because I can post lies all day. I can post me living a good life, me turning up, me having fun, me being funny all day, but I'm not going to show you what's really going on in my mind. So it's hard to follow people on social media because you never really know who they are. People coming out five, ten years later, sexual assault this, rape this, uh, violence this, and there's just so much stuff going on. And you're like, wow, I never thought that person would have did this. It's like you don't even know that person because they probably didn't let you know who they were really. It was all a facade. Social media isn't real. Why would I... Why would I post my failures when I could just post all the good things and the, the successful things that I have done? It takes a real person to say, hey, yeah, I usually do good, but today I ain't doing good. Or I usually sell out, you know, this show or whatever, but I bombed, you know. But people don't do that because social media allows you to display the best version of who you are and a fake version of who you are because a lot of people it's like acting being in a movie you're playing a role that's not who you really are it's like seeing a british actor play a black man you see him on a talk show tv show you're like that dude is british he sounded just like me he sounded just like a black person but they playing a role a lot of people in social media are playing roles of who they really want to be or who society tells them to be because they were influenced too. Just like they influenced you, they were influenced by somebody else. 
So that's what I want. What I want to talk about today. I just want to talk about watch who you who influences you. Watch who influences your children. Pay attention to what they're watching. Pay attention to what you're watching because subconsciously, whatever you take in day in and day out, that's who you will be. You watching videos from a person now you're talking like them, practicing their lingo, and you don't even know it. Joking like them, walking like them, talking like them. And before you know it, that influence has turned into you. And you don't even know it. You become a completely different person because you consume so much content of someone. And now that is who you are. That's who you become. It's not really you, but it's who you portray yourself as. It's who you've shown to be. And that's just what I want to talk about. It's just influence is very strong, like I said, especially in children. Our children are not paying attention to things that they should be paying attention to. You give your child that iPad, that tablet, then you get on the internet. They can do whatever they feel they want to do. They're watching people that they shouldn't be watching. Engaging in things that they shouldn't be engaged in. And you don't even know the wiser. So people look up and like, why are you like this? What's happened to you? It's the influence. What were they watching? What were they engaging in? How much effort did you put into your child? Because you're letting someone else or something else raise them. That's all they know. They don't know you because they spent so much time being influenced by other things. So make sure you know who is influencing you and the people around you. That's how you really know who people are. Because at the end of the day, people want to be who they think they are. People want to be who they admire, who they love, who they love to see. So watch your influences. Watch who you influence. Because ain't nothing worse than somebody influencing people and they shouldn't be influencing nobody because they ain't living a right life. But thank y'all for listening. I'm out. Appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe on the video. Let me know what y'all thought. And I'm out.